Pollution has been a problem in Maple Grove's Fish Lake for years, but as Kevin Miller explains, water treatment experts accomplished a rare feat thanks to years of hard work. The boat launch and public access at Fish Lake has seen its fair share of fish houses and ice augers. It's a popular spot for local anglers. So it does get a, a lot of um, fishing opportunities, but it also does receive uh, a quite a bit of other recreation, such as swimming. Um, the park district has a swimming beach uh, that is very popular in this area. And then also paddle boarding, kayaking, it pretty much receives it all. But even with its notoriety, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency found issues with the water quality. It does receive quite a bit of uh, recreation. Three Rivers Water Resource Manager Brian Vlock says it's caused by phosphorus on the lake bed. It's had severe algae blooms during the summertime, and as a result of that, um, its high nutrients and uh, poor water clarity conditions have resulted for the lake to be put on the impaired waters list. That means the lake isn't always suitable for fishing and swimming. But scientists started using a treatment called alum to cut down on phosphorus in the water. It kind of forms a blanket over the sediments and uh, that alum blanket uh, essentially uh, keeps that phosphorus from being released into the water column. Fish Lake was an ideal candidate for a project like this. It proved to be successful. The lake is now moving off the list of impaired waters. Locke says that's an uncommon feat. To remove a lake off the impaired waters list um, is extremely difficult, takes years to do. Locke says new issues can show up as water quality improves. But heading into spring, anglers can look forward to cleaner water. Your work isn't necessarily done, but um, once you do meet water quality standards, that is a huge undertaking and so results in improved recreational opportunities for the public. In Maple Grove, Kevin Miller, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.